If you think you can only wear mini skirt in summertime, come here. You got that so hung and I'm gonna prove you otherwise in today's video. We're gonna be studying mini skirt in winter time. I know mini skirt is a controversial topic because a lot of people think it's only for the Gen Z. Millennium, you can wear mini skirt. It's all about styling. Especially in fall and winter time, you can layer them to fit your style. You with long coat, with tight, I will prove it to you. All generation can wear mini skirt. We have a lot to unpack, guys. I created a list of 10 things you're gonna be needing in order to wear mini skirt in winter. Of course, those things I'm about to talk about, you don't have to utilize all of them to create looks with. Just use whatever is tighter to your personal style and I will do the same myself. We're gonna talk about the skirt, go over the styling. I'm gonna point out some mistakes we all make when it comes to styling mini skirt giving you some styling tips styling idea if this is something that interests you you better stay tuned first video of 2024 can you believe we are in 2024 already and yes we made it to 24. 23 wasn't an easy year. We had some good, we had some bad, but we all made it and we have to thank the Almighty. Thank you, Jesus, for another year. All I have to say is may all of your dreams come true. May all of our dreams come true, me included. Whatever your heart desire, may it come true in 2024. Can I have an amen? Amen to that. Is this the first time you discover in this channel? Hmm? You are on style by Essie. My name is Esther. This channel focus on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle, but mainly fashion though. If this is something that interests you, you are on the right place. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate your notification bell so you wouldn't miss any video coming from style by Essie. Also, follow me on my social, TikTok, Instagram, my handle there is Queen Essie NYC. I am more active on those two platforms. There I show you how to put looks together in a kind of get heady with me way. Let's go over the things you're gonna be needing in no particular order in order to wear your mini skirt in winter time. The first thing will be your layering garment, layering base. In this category, I'm talking about your thermal shirt, long sleeve shirt, places you can get them from at Amazon, Skim, Skim.com, Uniqlo. I got mine from Amazon. This is the one I'm gonna be wearing in today's video. It's a set of a tray, black, coffee, and cream. Love this, so affordable. It's scratchy, great quality, knitted fabric. In the same category, you're gonna need your fleece line tight or your regular tights. These are what I'm talking about, fleece line. I got this one from Amazon. This piece right here is absolutely mesmerizing. Rising. The way I am warm when I have this on, unbelievable. Oh, highly recommend this one. This is the inside. You see the fleece in the inside? Wow, very stretchy. It has this uh, thick waistband. How it looks like at the back is very long and it matches the color of my skin. Women of color friendly. This one will be linked. It just flatten your tummy area and it gives a little bit of a boost on your behind. Talking about three in one, get it. Great investment. Every winter you're gonna pull this out. It's a must for me. For the tights, you have different type of a tight. This one is from H&M. I tend to buy my regular tights from H&M. Also, your dollar store. Ooh, the best place to buy things like that. Very affordable. Also, TJ Maxx, Marshall. Go there if you are trying to buy tights to wear in winter time. This one is from H&M. I have the colorful, fun ones from Amazon. The next thing you're gonna need is your jacket. Long wool jacket you have to have fiber that is going to keep you warm it has to be woolen your shirling jacket for fur coat as well or even thick type of a coat next one is knit knit a jumper i have this one right here you're going to need like a warm fabric it has to be cashmere it has to be woolen it has to be very thick oversized and those thick oversized jumper are so stylish and trendy at the moment next we're going to move to accessory things like your big chunky scarf, your gloves, oh, your beanies, even those sporty hats. Yes, those are trendy to NYC hats. Also, your beret 
Woo! This is the gloves I'm gonna be using. This one, I'm gonna use this berry as well and this neutral scarf. If you have colorful scarf, you can use. So next thing you're gonna need are shoes. I'm talking about your chunky knee-high boot, even this stiletto one, ankle boot, Chelsea boot too, you can utilize it to style your mini skirt. Yeah. Something else you're gonna be needing are leg warmer. You put that on top of your tights or leggings. I don't have any of them. If that is part of your aesthetic you so some people tend to wear biker shirt under their skirt the mini skirt i don't do that mini skirt come in different lengths the micro mini skirt think about mew mew style of a skirt picture right there we are not starting that in today's video the true mini is the second length that is what we're going to be styling and then you have the length that just uh, sit below your knee and above your knee. So pick the length that suits your style the best. In today's video, we're going to be styling true mini style of a skirt. And the first style is a favorite of mine because we are mixing gray and burgundy. Those two color combination, woo! The base will be the fleece line leggings and the top from the Amazon. These two, this is my base layer. And let me tell you something, with these two garments on, I am warm already. This is the two garment we're gonna be styling. The skirt from Nasty Girl. It is giving me school vibe. <laughs> Love the pleat over the skirt. Pairing it with this burgundy jumper. High neck, 30 neck jumper from Lily Sake. It's in a cashmere fabric. These two color combination together, so pleasing to the eyes, so eye-catching. I love how soft the two combos are. Wow. You guys, try this combination out. I'm telling you, you're gonna stand out. I just elevated the skirt with my Celine Dupe belt I picked from Amazon. I will link that in the description box. Get it, get it, get it. And I love how it just added a je ne sais quoi to the entire look. Next thing will be scarf. The black scarf you guys are seeing is from Zaha. Woolen fabric. Very warm, lightweight, so chic, so sophisticated. It's old, it's not new. I will link a similar one. Next will be coat. I have this belted burgundy wool coat I picked from Mango just to complement the color over the cardigan. That's why I am using her. Belted, so elegant, so warm. It completed the outfit as well. It was necessary. If you guys don't want to use uh, something burgundy, you can use a black coat. That one will work as well. The shoes I am using is uh, this one from Paris, Texas. To be honest, this is not the most comfortable shoes, even though the heel high is so little let me tell you something if i'm not careful i'm gonna break my leg in this one right here you say no but that's all i have for now so i'm just using it and i love how the style of this boot pair beautifully with the skirt you guys gonna see it in the cut out part let's just pick a white boot you're gonna see it right there you see how it's not cohesive the equilibrium is not there it's not giving what it's supposed to give all of that to say you have to match your boot with the color of your tight i'm gonna put the image side by side and let me know will you header the black or the white boot put that down always match the color of your boot with the color of your tight not sure if i use gloves if i did you already know my long gloves i picked from essos long time ago and for bag i have this one from the media london this is the new york style love this bag there you go guys you have a chic sophisticated <laughs> skirt winter look where will you go brunch with friends in this look any outing winter outing you have ongoing you can take this look with you it's just the color combination for me gray and burgundy together is a yes try this look out i promise you you will love it i wanted to create something black and white i had two top i wanted to style for today's video this one or this one with the leather skirt I picked from Elsos. I decided to put two looks together with this skirt. I'm gonna utilize this uh, 30 neck top first and then this one right here. I use this opaque tight under just to keep myself warm. It's opaque, it's black. That's why I am styling it with black boots. I picked from Steve Madam. Do you know why I didn't use something white? It's because of the color of the tight. It's black. If 
it was sheer. I would have used something other than black because the sheer just mimic the color of the skin. There's something I have to mention though. The tight was clashing with the fabric inside the skirt. This plastic fabric, as you can see, it was just making the skirt look so weird, fit so weirdly. I almost gave up this entire video because of this style right there. The two fabric together when I going. The challenge was there. Yes, I faced challenge to when it comes to put look together. I'm just letting you know if you have anything like this inside your skirt and styling it with an opaque tight like this, it's not gonna look good. I'm gonna adjust it and you're gonna see in the next look. For coat, it's uh, this wool coat I picked from H&M too, a couple season back. It's another belted one. I love the combination all together. The white scarf is from Essos. I just added this one to keep myself warm. And I have this YSL bag to elevate everything. And if you have a white sunglasses, of course you can add that up. And a black gloves as well. I didn't use it. I'm just letting you know what else you can use. As you have yourself a black and white fresh look. I think all of the look I put together are for outing. You can go date night, you can go brunch, you can go anywhere you want in this look right here. I just love the freshness over the white fabric for winter time. Like white and winter time go together. We're gonna go over style number two with this jumper right here from H&M. One of my favorite jumper in my collection and because I didn't have any sheer tight I decided to be sheerless but just imagine me with something sheer with this look right here and because I didn't have anything under you're gonna see how my mood my entire expression just light up our face so inspire all over again i just tucked it a little bit inside my bra so that you can see the skirt as well you have to tuck your garment if you want to elevate them and for shoes i'm wearing something white the white boot you guys are seeing is from zaha i showed that earlier i kept the same coat from h&m the same ysl bag if i'm not mistaken and the same scarf love this look better than the first one the only thing missing is tight so wear something sheer if you want to pull out this skirt. Love this skirt. So elegant looking. And it was very affordable too. I believe this is Topshop on ASOS. Start number three is the perfect definition of go bold or go home. I am starting a leather mini skirt. I picked from ASOS. Love the shine over the leather. It's a slit on the side. Here's the inside of the skirt. Love the length on my body as well. For base, I have a opaque red tight I picked from Amazon. This is the one I'm talking about. This is a base of mine. So it will blend beautifully with the skirt. For jumper, I have this number I picked from Zaha. It's a high neck, long sleeve. I have a lot of red jumper, but I didn't have anything in this length. And I love the quality over this one. I think it pairs beautifully. For shoes, I have an ankle boot is another Zaha number this one I am choosing a red ankle boot because my tight is red as well it's gonna elongate me even more it's pointy and it blends beautifully with the tight that's why it's making me look taller I am 5'5 five five for reference and for coat is from Essos one of my favorite coat in my collection from Essos love the color over this coat love how soft it is it's wool fabric it's different shade of red but it's just gonna add interest different texture as well look at that look at the different texture it just add interest to the entire look ah i'm in love with this look it's bold i know not for everyone but i dare you to try bag is from cat space not my favorite bag if you ask me but that's the only red bag i have at this moment i'm just adding it with this if you have your gloves a red scarf a red glove just to keep everything red a red sunglasses to elevate everything Woo! Who can try you? Woo! This look is absolutely amazing. A bold winter look. You are trendy. You are fresh. You are beautiful. Love red over my complexion. Love red over other skin tone. It's a universal color. I know it's trendy at the moment, but red has been trending for ages. Style number four is another monochromatic look we are creating, but this time it's everything black. You would never go home when you put a black look together. It's a classic. Timeless look. My base layer is the opaque tight and the long sleeve black shirt I picked from Amazon. On top of that, I have this skirt I picked from Zaha and this 
turtle neck jumper from Nastigar. It's not new, obviously. I have this in my collection for a very long time. It's huge, it's oversized, it's chunky. The extra fabric is gonna keep you warm. If you have a fitted turtle neck black top, you can utilize it. It's even gonna look way better. But because I feel cold so easily, I needed something with more fabric on it. I talked it to make the entire look look slim. Sorry for the repetition. The entire look look slim. <laughs> This skirt, wool, is the A-line. Look at the A-line cut over this skirt. You're gonna see it on me. Get this skirt, it's a great investment. You can not only wear it in winter time, but summer as well. It depends on how you're gonna be styling it. Love how tailored, so elegant this skirt is. Ah, I fell in love with this skirt when I saw it online on the model. The way it was fitting on the model, she's right there. Oh, it was instant purchase. I'm pairing it with a Celine Dion belt to elevate the look even more. The shoes I'm using, I have the chunky knee-high boot I picked from Steve Madam. You're gonna see it in the cut towel part. Black coat, this one right here is from Essos. Love this coat, long line coat. Everything I'm using for this look is a yes for me. It's not new, of course. I will link an alternative to a similar one. If you have a black scarf, you can add that. Black leather gloves. I'm using a black beret. Not sure if I did. If yes, you're gonna see it. Love that combination. It's giving me a Frenchy style of fashion that I'm loving. If you have a black sunglass to elevate, the elevation you add that did i mention that the skirt have a pocket is a plus it's one of my favorite to be honest with you if i had to pick a look this will be one of them just to stay away from the <laughs> the traumatizing for some of you everything red the bold i'm giving you this next last but not the least is a color combination style i put together i'm styling this whiskey colorful leather skirt i picked for zara Ooh, I pick a lot of skirts from Zara. Two of them are from Zara. This is on sale at Zara. I got it during Black Friday. This color they describe as whiskey is a darker shade of orange. It's a suede, soft in the inside, high-waisted as well. Because this is a darker shade of orange, one of the color that goes beautifully with orange is uh, a fuchsia pink color. That's why I'm gonna be styling it with this crop jumper. Of course, I have my base layer, the opaque tight, and the black shirt inside. Love the combination, very flattering. Of course, you have many ways to style this skirt, but I just wanted to play with a color combination for this look to give you something different not the usual style another complementary color to fuchsia and uh, this uh, darker shade of uh, orange is uh, orange <laughs> that's why i'm gonna be starting mine with this orange coat i picked from the frankie shop very interesting combination isn't it you're gonna see the outcome somewhere right there i'm wearing Steve madam chunky knee high boat because my tight is black so that it will look seamless, it will look all itself all together. If I didn't want to wear it, I would have chosen Fisher Pump, also a slim back shoes in orange color. For my back, YSA Fisher to complement the color over the jumper. So beautiful, so chic. Everything I style in today's video is for outing. Because the boot is comfortable, you can even go shopping in this look right here. And the sweater is making it casual as well. You can finish up everything with your favorite accessory scarf you can put a black scarf because it's gonna blend with the boot if you have that as well it will work a black sunglasses it will work as well what did you learn today comment below i want to know also which look was your favorite are you gonna start wearing mini skirt you can apply the same concept with maxi skirt or midi style of a skirt. If you want me to put a video together on how to style maxi and a midi skirt for winter time, let me know, comment below. I will be glad to do so. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Also share this video with whoever you think might be interested in this type of a styling. This is gonna help this channel grow even more. We have grown since I came back. That is the only thing I'm asking you to share, to subscribe. If I haven't convinced you yet to subscribe, please, please do so because when you do that, it's just gonna push this channel to flourish. This community to become bigger <laughs> happy new year one more time wishing you the best this upcoming year 
us the best this upcoming year. May all of our wishes come true. I'm going to let you go now until next time. I love you forever and ever. Until next time, you stay safe. Bye-bye.